What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we succeeded in uh, finally evolving our good old buddy Pig Hammer into Primeape. Deserved it, yes. And in the process, we defeated Gary, got scared by a few ghosts, beat a few trainers with poison Pokemon. We got poisoned like five times. It's annoying. But anywho, in this episode right here, we're going to be spending time in Saladon City, grabbing a few things, getting to know the lay of the land and all that stuff. I was thinking of doing the Team Rocket thing right here, like in this episode, but I kind of figured that, hey, you know what, maybe one tour episode is okay because we got a lot of things to do here. There's a lot of stuff that you can find here. Like, the first thing is this guy right here. As you can see, keep out of Team Rocket's way. That's pretty much a sign that, you know, Team Rocket is here and all that stuff. But we're all here for the best reasons possible. Um, if you go right here, talk to this person. Ah, ow, I scalded my tongue. This is nice old lady in the mansion gave me some tea. But it was boiling hot. Gotta cool it to drink it. Now, in Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red, I've never really tested this theory before, okay? Um, I never tested getting water, lemonade, soda, and going to the Saffron uh, City entrance to give it to the guy with, you know, like the, you know, that, that was thirsty. I always went here and, uh, well, this is pretty much a new feature in Leaf Green and Fire Red. You go here and you talk to this old lady and she'll give you some tea. Never tried it with those guys, never see if it actually worked, but, you know, it is what it is. Try this instead. We get some self. We get ourselves some tea right here, so that's part of the key items. And she says, nothing beats thirst like some hot tea. It really is the best. Huh, I bet so. Alrighty. So, one of the biggest things about Celadon City that you guys will always find is a free Pokemon, and that is Eevee. So well, that's exactly what we're going to be doing right here. We're going to be going to go get ourselves an Eevee, because why not? Let's go get that Eevee. Of course, a lot of you guys are like, you know what, Draven? I know that you got yourself Pikachu and all that stuff. You named it after your, uh, your, 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 uh, whatchamacallit, your knees, but Jolteon is the way to go. I get it, guys, I know, I wanted to use Jolteon too, but I made a promise to my niece. I'm sorry, guys, that's the one Pokemon that will not change. So if you talk to this guy here, he's like, there is nothing that I don't know like I wrote on the blackboard. I know about the world of Pokemon in your Game Boy Advance. Get together with your friends and enjoy trading Pokemon. Of course, we... We can't really trade Pokemon right now. I mean, again, comment down below if you know a way to trade Pokemon through the VBA. Yeah. Anywho, if you go right here, grab this ball, you get yourself an Eevee. And I am not going to nickname Eevee just yet because let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here. As you can see, it is at level 25. It is a relaxed nature. Very good Pokemon, normal type Pokemon. And, uh, wow, well, special defense is pretty good. Has the ability to run away. And it has some decent attacks and all that stuff. Remember, this Pokemon in this generation can evolve into five different Pokemons. Uh, three of them really close to this city right here. If you get a Fire, Fire Stone, Water Stone, or uh, Thunder Stone, you can evolve into one of those three Pokemon. I think depending on the time of day, because remember, there's no light, night or day in this game. Uh, you can evolve it into either Espeon or Ombreon, which I'm going to try and do way, way later into this episode. Because believe it or not, this isn't the only Eevee you can actually get. Remember, you can still breed them. It's just we're going to have to go to the Sevi Islands for all that stuff. So we're going to have to move on ahead right here, guys. Now, one thing that's always alluded to me is the item that is right here. Never, ever got the item right here. I don't know why. So that's... Well, yeah, that's one main thing that you can actually find right here. Now, another thing, too, is the Pokemon, the Rocket Place, which you can actually buy some uh, coins and all that stuff. Now, if you talk to this guy, oh, what am I to do? Someone stole our self scope. The thief running away this, uh, or the, the thief came running this way, I'm sure of it. But I lost sight of him. Where did he go? Hmm, I don't know. He's talking about the Silph Scuff. That's something that we need right there. Now, talk to this guy. Mm, I blew it all in the slots. I knew I would have cashed in my, my coins for prizes. Huh. Now, if you guys want to get the... If you want to get the coin case, you should come in here and talk to this guy at the very end. And he's going to be like, Go ahead, laugh. I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me. I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. And we get ourselves the coin case, which is actually a good thing very very good thing um yeah very very good thing now if you guys all remember it my very first pokemon leaf green walkthrough i actually got dratini 
as a prize Pokemon. And trust me, it takes a while to get Dratini because you need a lot of Pokecoins. As I'm reading this right now, in Pokemon Leaf Green, 120 coins, you can get an Abra. Uh, 750, you can get Clefairy. 2,500, you can get Pinsir. 4,600, you can get Dratini. And 6,500, you can get Porygon. Now, if you're playing the other game, uh, Pokemon Fire Red, I don't know why they do this, but if you... Let's see, 180 is for Abra. 500 is for Clefairy, 2,800 for Dratini, 5,500 for Scyther, and 9,999 for uh, for Porygon. I don't know why they do that. Don't really know. Now, if you go right here, you can cut your way and go straight to the Celadon City Gym. We will be saving that for later on, guys. Uh, I know that we can actually go in there and battle right now, but I kind of want to save that for, you know, a... a a separate occasion because we still got different missions of course as you can see my Pokemon right here are in the they're, they're in their level 20s don't really think they're gonna put up a good fight against uh, against Erica right now especially my uh, my Godzilla Godzilla so next event right here you can go up into the Celadon City uh, department you can buy a buttload of stuff a buttload of stuff so I'm gonna use the stairs right here now in department store 2 you can actually buy TMs right here let's see Go right here. You can buy yourself Roar, Hyper Beam, a very, very expensive one, Dig, uh, Brick Break, Secret Power, and Attract. So, what I'm going to do right now, let's see. Yeah, I think I have enough, right? Yes, I do. I have enough for Brick Break and, uh, and Dig right here because I'm going to be using it on a few Pokemon. And then, you know what? I should get Hyper Beam as well, just in case. And then normally fu fully uh, evolved Pokemon learn that. Secret Power should be a good one here too. And you know what? While I'm at it, I should do this. I should sell something right here. I do have some of the uh, the dusts and all that stuff. So Stardust, 1,000. There we go. And then uh, I don't think I should... Oh, here we go. Per a Pearl. And uh, let's see. Do we have any nuggets? No, we don't. Okay, so that is that. And then this guy right here just, you know, he sells regular stuff, which we will be getting later on off screen. That way, uh, when we get, we stay prepared for the Pokemon uh, or the, the Team Rocket stuff. Now, in Department Store 3 right here, you can actually, well, actually, they don't sell anything. But if you talk to this guy right here, I think he'll teach you a move. Oh, hi, I finally finished Pokemon. Not done yet. How about I teach you a good move? The move I'm having in mind is Counter. Not like the one I'm leaning on, mind you. And I'm going to be like, no, not just yet. Counter, if you guys don't know, is a uh, defensive move. If your Pokemon gets hit with a physical move, it hits the opposing Pokemon back double, twice the, the amount that it got hit with, if you guys get what I'm saying. Now, in this room right here, you can actually buy the, uh, the, the elemental stones that you need for the Pokemon, uh, such as Eevee. So as you can see, you can buy yourself Fire, Thunder, Leaf, and Water Stones, all for 2100 I will be getting there pretty soon. Actually, you know what? Let's see. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save that for later on because, uh, oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. There is a Pokemon that I have that needs a Leaf Stone, and I'm going to need that, just in case right there. So we're going to save that for later, and uh, let's see. There's something else right here that we, we can go and get now. You're in department store number five. You can actually find the X items. We won't be going there or doing anything right there. And uh, in the rooftop, now, this is what I'm talking about right here. Get yourself a fresh water, a soda pop, and a, lemon, uh, a lemonade, and you will be, oh, wow. And you will be able to talk to the little girl right there, and she'll be giving you some good moves right there. So I'm going to be doing that. And this guy right here is like, my sister is a trainer. Believe it or not. But she is so immature. She drives me nuts. Huh. Talk to her. I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. Give her a drink. Yes, I will. Let's go ahead and give her fresh water. And she'll give us a TM-16. And that happens to be light screen. Oh, God. Now, let's see what the next one she's, she's going to give us. Okay, so if you give her a soda pop right here, she'll give you the TM-20, which is, uh, let's see, reflect or safeguard. So the final one would have to be, what, light screen, which is kind of stupid because it's like... You know, in Pokemon Fire Red, or in Pokemon uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow, she gives us some very powerful attacks like Rock Slide, Tri-Attack, Ice Beam, and uh, yeah, look at that, she gives us all three of those moves, so that's pretty much it for her, Just kind of annoying because it's like, dude, seriously, you could have given us some stronger moves instead of that, but that's where you can get some free TMs right there, and uh, let's go straight down there, and... 
Let's see, what are we gonna do next? Oh yes, uh, let me just get out of here. Let me just get out of here and just do what I have to do right here. So let's see. So this is outside of Celadon City and we do have the ability to do so. Now here we are in round 16. We're gonna use the cut because, you know, we can. And I think there are some trainers here. Yes, there are. Now, this is the Pokemon that one of these people were talking about that is blocking the way to Cycling Road. So I'm not going to bore you guys right now with just touring places and all that stuff. We're going to be battling quite a few people here too, just to strengthen up our Pokemon. So let's go ahead and switch it out right here and get our Pokemon all beefed up. So let's go. Jed, our love knows no bounds. We're in love and we show it. That's also good. That's very, very good, okay? But, I'm sorry, I might have to break you up. So here we go, a couple, Leah and Jed want the battle, and they're coming out with a Rapidash and Ninetales. Look at that, two fully evolved Pokemon. Strong Pokemon right here, so this could be a tough one. So I'm gonna go with a Seismic Toss on you, Rock Slide on both you, and of course, they are faster than us, so, oh my god. Oh my god, we're, we're, we're getting hit with like a Tail Whip double tail whip and of course there's a safeguard covering them in the bale and uh seismic toss come on do me a favor and here we go with the rock slide and good thing it hits both pokemon so as you can see it's super effective and wow not as powerful as i thought it would so let's go with the seismic toss on you and rock slide again and uh there we go come on bring it you won't hurt me this is where a water type Pokemon would come in handy, right guys? It would. So there you go. Rock slide again. Alrighty. As you can see, kicking ass, taking names. Look at that. No more Ninetales. Alrighty. Alright, the good combination of Thrasher and Godzilla, and uh, look at that. Level 27. Always useful right there. And, uh, alrighty. They're like, oh no, my love has seen me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. My love has seen me as a loser. <laughs> she probably doesn't care. So I'm going to be moving on right here. And you talk to this guy right here. He's like, how'd you get in? Good effort. I bet you anything the, the programmers were lazy on that one. Now, if you go right here, you'll be able to find a secret house. And if you talk to this lady right here, she's like, oh dear, you found my secret retreat. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. Or please don't tell anyone I'm here. I'll make it up to you with this. And I get our, I get myself the HMO2, which is fly. It's wonderfully convenient move. Please put it to good use. Okay, all right. And uh, I believe this is a famous movie star. I could be wrong. I don't even know. Tell me what you guys think on the bottom. I don't know. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a Pokemon that can fly. I mean, we do and we don't. It's just I kind of want to save that spot for something else. I mean, we are so close to evolving into a flying type Pokemon. Eventually, so I'm gonna be using cut again can't wake up that Snorlax and uh, Well, let's see I think we visited everything except the Rockets corner right here So first is first now if you go right here hold on trying to get in and Like I said before you can actually get exchange of coins for Pokemon as you can see the different coins You can actually or yeah different coins you can actually get different items like right here like smoke ball miracle seed Charcoal, Mystical Water, and the Yellow Flute. In the middle, I believe, is Pokemon. Let's see. Yes, you can actually get some rare Pokemon right here. Uh, when I first did my Pokemon Leaf Green, back when I started as Draven XC711, I actually got Dratini with 4,600 coins. Many of you guys were like questioning, like, you guys were questioning, why would you get Dratini if you already have Charizard? It doesn't really make sense because these two are like flying type Pokemon. I got what you guys meant, and it kind of just, it, it bugged me a little because you guys were right about it. Trust me guys, Dratini is the one Pokemon that will be axed from my team right here. Uh, I was actually thinking of getting Pinsir. I wanted to get Pinsir, but it really made no sense in getting Pinsir. Now, if you go right here, you can actually get TMs right here, like TM13, which is Ice Beam, TM23, Iron Tail, 24, uh, Thunderbolt, TM30 is Shadow Ball, and TM35, which is Flamethrower. So you got some pretty powerful moves right there. And then, uh, let's see. I think you can get some free coins right here, too. So we're going to be stepping inside, and we're just going to be walking around the area and getting some free coins right here. So if you just walk around the area, you'll, you're going to be finding some free coins. As you can see, I found myself 100 coins right on the floor. I think you can find, like, 360 or something. I don't even know. 
And I'm not gonna do that just yet. So let's see. Finding myself some coins. Trust me, guys. This is well worth the wait. Finding every coin right here. That's right. There we go. 20 coins. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna go right here. Down the middle. I'm pretty sure we could find a coin. Maybe. I don't know. If you talk to the people, they will give you coins. Yeah. So he gives us 20 coins right here. There we go. And uh, there we go. Another 10 coins right here. Okay, so let's see if we can find some more coins down the middle. Uh, how about talk to this guy? What's up? Want some coins? Yes, sir, I do. And there we go. From the nice guy. I'm glad they're all nice and all that stuff. And there we go with another 10 coins. And then let's see. There we go. Keep on finding some coins. So just go wherever I'm going, guys, and you'll be able to find some coins here. There we go. Another 10. And uh, let's see. Maybe this guy will give us something. Games are scary, but they're easy to get hooked on. Right here. Should I find coins? Let's see. Come on. I know I know. there's like quite a few coins left. Come on. You're not hiding. Oh, there we go. Ten coins. And uh, let's see. Down here. Nothing. Could be nothing. I don't know. Or I could be rushing it. It's probably the case right there. I don't know. So let's go right here. Keep quiet. This room... Or this... It's rumored that this place is run by Team Rocket. Hmm. True. Then different odds, and then talk to this guy. Kid, do you want to play? Yes. We get 10 coins from this guy. That's good. And, uh, would you look at this guy? Hey! You have better things to do, champ, in the making? Celadon City Gym Leader is Erica. She is a user of grass type Pokemon and at one with nature. She might appear docile because of her flower arranging, but she's not one to be taken lightly. Only reason he's here is because he's not allowed in the, in the gym. It's a females only gym right there. And then if you talk to this lady, win, lose, or anything, yeah, whatever. Okay, so now a little bit of a difference in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow is the the amount that you can buy for coins. As you can see, I got 230. For a thousand dollars, you can get 50 coins. That was the you that was the norm in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. In this game right here, you get 10,000. If you pay pay up 10,000, you get 500 coins. It's a much more faster way of getting these other Pokemon right here. So, uh, hmm, should I or should I not? Nah, I'm not gonna do it. It's not really worth it right now. And then, uh, let's see, she's gonna explain to us about the the prizes. So, what I'm gonna do right now is just, I'm gonna play a little bit, and then we'll finish it off with the battle right here. So, as you can see, slot machine, if you press the right, if you press the right uh, button right here, you're gonna see the amount uh, of coins that you can get through the different kinds of prizes or the th different kinds of icons you can get right here. Now, if you press the down button once, you'll use up one coin, two, two coins, and three, three coins, and it actually maximizes your odds of winning. So I'm just going to press the button three times, and let's see if we can get something here. There we go, and there we go. We got ourselves some Starmies right there. Hmm, maybe I should try it again. There we go. There we go, two and three. Look at that, two in a row right there. We keep on winning. See, this is the reason why you get hooked on, because you keep on winning, and the next thing you get a bad streak going. There we go, and look at that. Alright, so we're winning. So, I think you win all the time, I think. No, we didn't win. Oh, we did. No, we didn't. Okay, so let's try this one more time right here. Two and three. There we go. We got ourselves some slow pokes right here. Okay, so we got 250 coins. Uh, I think that's the same amount that we, we started with, I guess. So, we're going to stop playing right here, and we're going to finish off our episode with this guy right here. He's covering up for something. So, let's see. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to stay right here. Oh, you know what? Um, I'm wondering. I am wondering. Hold on. I'm reading this thing right here. <laughs> okay, so... Um... Yeah, okay. Let's, let's go ahead and, uh... Let's go ahead and just, uh... I'm going with my gut here. Let's go with this guy right here, Aaliyah, and let's see what he has to say. I'm gr or I'm guarding the, this poster. Go away or else. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So here we go. Team Rocket Grunt would like to battle, and he's going to be coming out with his Raticate. So I probably should have listened to the book right here. This is bad. This is bad. So we're going to be switching it up. We don't want Aaliyah to get her ass kicked real quickly right here. And uh, there we go, Hyper Fang. Knew it! I knew it! And you got poison, you asshole. See what happens? Alrighty. 
See, you got poisoned up the butt. So here we go, thunder or double kick right here. That's right, one more for the win. And that is how you do it, guys. That's how you win battles. Oh, yes. And uh, everybody's getting points. And this is the Pokemon that I've been waiting for. So let's go ahead and uh, switch out right here to Aaliyah. The good-ass Pokemon. Alrighty. Two Pokemon right here. Okay, so let's go right ahead with a Shockwave. Oh, yes. This is going to burn. This is going to hurt. And there you go. No more Zubat. Alrighty. Okay. So as you can see, Zubat gets their butt kicked and he's like, dang. Wow. And he's like, the Team Rocket hideout might be discovered. Better tell the boss. Huh. Okay. So he probably already outed himself. Let's go ahead and see what's uh, behind this poster right here. He's like, hey, a switch behind the poster. Let's press it. And as you can see, we find ourselves a stairway. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be exploring the whole thing, the whole enchilada right here, battling a buttload of trainers and everything. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back for another episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. See you guys. Mm -hmm.